Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Driveway Engineer. I am JR. This is Peanut. That is Coconut out there looking for uh, children to play with or bite. Um, I lost my box. Not super important, I guess. So I've had this thing for a few weeks. Peanut! Uh, this MPM device, you can get it from a handful of different places online. Uh, this one came from obd2365.com. Uh, basically, short and to the point, it's a hacked version of HP tuners. It doesn't require credits. It should be exactly the same as an MVPI-1, which is what I have over here. Um, I reached out to them and ask for this, which is the first time I've ever done such a thing. Uh, and they were willing to send it. Um, this is an MVPI Pro, as you can see, as it says Pro on it. Uh, this should be, in theory, able to do everything. It's, it's cracked, so you don't need credits. Um, in a nutshell, it sucks. It works if you put enough effort into it. Um, they want your phone number, they want your email address. You wind up having to give them remote access to your computer, which I have a computer that I use simply for tuning and no other purpose. Uh, so that wasn't that big a deal to me. Um, but you know, it starts out sketchy and it gets weirder and weirder as you go, kind of deal. Um, so you have to give them remote access to your PC and then you can only write files. You can't save them. You can read them, you can write them, you can read them, you can't save them, which means that you can't do a custom OS, which is a problem. Um, it's 280 bucks right now and there's no coupon code or anything else like that at this time um, that I know of. I just don't see the point in it. Uh, it's the same price as HP tuners. If you're good with PCM Hammer, you can get free credits anyway. Uh, it doesn't do anything for you that PCM Hammer and Universal Patcher don't do. The only thing, the only benefit it provides is the scanner. You can run the scanner if you don't already have one of these, and the HP tuner scanner is very good. Um, yeah, I mean, just to get right to the point, if it sounds too good to be true, it is, and you get what you pay for, brr, 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 you know, I don't necessarily believe that hook, line, and sinker, but at this point right now, this thing is not where it needs to be, especially since they could send it to you, like, already cracked. I don't know why they insist on issuing you a license for software that they stole. Uh, you know, the whole thing's kind of weird. Um... If you're old enough to remember HP tuners, this started out as like, we're going to change the world and we're going to give power to the people and blah, blah, blah. And then it evolved into this, you know, you got to use our device kind of thing, which happened again with another software later on. Um, it tends to be how it goes. So I don't really mind sticking it to HP tuners in terms of, you know, getting around their restrictions, especially when they start taking away functionality and things like that and forcing firmware updates and things that aren't really like um but this is just not there yet so uh i don't recommend it if you see it out there i've already blocked like three guys from my group trying to spam and sell it paul valdez and um i just i don't recommend it at this time so hope it helps thanks for watching we'll see you next time on the driveway engineer